Here we are in the middle of Whiteham Woods, which everybody knows is the university's forest and is a world center for ecological research. I've been coming to this wood for almost 40 years to the day. And on that very first day, I came across something which has been my special secret ever since. If you look over there, you'll see a fallen beech tree, a giant log. The first day I came here, I sat there, had my sandwiches as picnic sitting on top of its smooth bark. Over the years since then, that tree has changed. Gradually, it's split open, it's begun to rot away, and it's become a little treasure in the wood. I'd like to say that this should be a sort of Dorian Gray story where I could take you to my trunk and say, it's getting older, but I've stayed forever young. But there's something deeper than this, I think. The tree and I have aged together. I come back and each year I put more wrinkles on my face and my hair's turning gray. And I see my old friend, the split in the bark has grown longer, the fungus are more luxuriant. Deep within the heartwood, it's beginning to fill great cavities where uh, leaves gather and all kinds of animals love to feed. Centipedes and millipedes hidden away in the bark. Of course, if I were to join my tree and uh, be buried alongside it, which I hope won't happen yet, our futures would be very different. I'd rot away very quickly from the outside and all that would be left of me was a skeleton. But the lovely thing about a tree is its strength is in that bark, the protective layer of bark. So the tree, shape of the tree has remained there. We might each contribute to the ecosystem if we lay alongside one another, but this tree will contribute one hell of a lot more. Uh, something like 20% of the species in a typical wood are very dependent on fallen trees, so it's very important now for conservation of nature that we just leave them the way they are, and that's how I like it, because I can go on visiting my friend for as long as it takes.